In this tutorial, we're going to talk about browsing with guest mode and browsing incognito. Both have a purpose and both are really great to use and I will give you some tips as to how I use both. So as you know, we have, uh, first we have guest mode. We have ourselves logged in, but maybe somebody else needs to use our computer and we don't necessarily want their credentials tied to our account. We also don't want to create a new profile for them. Your circle here, we're going to click down and we're going to go ahead and click guest. Guest mode then allows somebody else to use your computer without tying their account to yours. When we set up our um, Chrome profile, remember we told it to link the data, so we don't want to link data to anyone else. This is great if students need to use our computer, our kids come over and use our computer, and you don't necessarily want them tied to your account. So I can search whatever I need. I can possibly go ahead and log in. And here I can use Staff Portal. This is also really great if another teacher needs to use your classroom, um, maybe to put in a work order or something. So have them use the guest browser, which is built into your Chrome options. This is also really great because as soon as you click the X up here to close, all of their information is gone. It's not um, held on to your computer. Therefore, you're not tying anybody else's account to yours. The next option you have is incognito mode. Up here at the top, you have your skinny snowman menu. So if you click on it, if you notice that you have a new incognito window. If you click on that, you know it's incognito because you have the little uh, spy looking man with a hat and the glasses and it allows you to safely browse the internet. I really like to use this when I'm looking for um, travel information for flights or hotels, Airbnbs, things like that, because it doesn't hold um, your searches and um, therefore when you come back maybe at a later date, it hasn't already known that you've looked up flight information, it maybe will give you a better rate at a different time. So incognito is great. You can continue surfing. You can look up websites that you want and it is not held on here as same like guest browser, but it has a little more security by using incognito mode. So those are two different ways that you can definitely browse um, outside of your Google profile that's already saved in your Google Chrome.